This Friday, February 24th, Franklin County's Chamber of Commerce honored Marina Goldman's lifetime of work in healing and the arts. The Montague Women's Health Nurse Practitioner works with child refugees in the African nation of Sierra Leone. Brought the Sierra Leone Refugee All-Star and African Music Band to the Shea Theater to share that culture with this community and more recently worked with producers Ken Burns and Artemis Joukowsky and actor Tom Hanks to create a PBS special documentary about the life of Martha and Waitstill Sharp, two American Unitarians who went to Europe in 1939 to help refugees escaping Nazi tyranny. Marina had much to say about the lessons drawn from history as it applies to the dilemma faced by today's refugees. We need to um, teach our children from a very young age that um, not to see people who are different from us as the other. You know, whether they're Republicans or whether they're black, you know, um, I think that it starts from a very young age. You know, Irvin Staub wrote a book recently about um, bystandership and how we can be active bystanders. And so every one of us can stand up for um, someone else who um, is in need of, of someone to stand up for, whether it's helping someone who is, um, you know, use the bathroom that they feel comfortable with, or whether it's just, um, you know, if they don't understand the language, helping them find their way to the classroom. There's also something to be said, you have to meet them where they are. You know, I have um, some of my patients voted for Trump, and I really try to understand but I don't apologize. I'm not um, going to let them get away with it. I'm going to listen, but but I really want them to make sense, and I'm not going to let them get away with not making sense. So or like repeating lies. So I think we do. You're right. We have to call people strongly on their like you know the you know boys will be boys, or is this is all going to pass, or that whole apology you know. Um, apologist thing and I think we have to call them on it strongly but I guess because I'm a woman and because I've been in other cultures particularly in Sierra Leone where I'm the only white person with thousands of black people in a, in a um, soccer stadium I, I also believe that there's a way to sort of um, hold people's hands and be a little tread a little softer but you're right these are tough times, so they may, I may not be that nice anymore. <laughs> um, every person counts and every little act of, of kindness or inclusion counts because one can only manage a miracle every so often. This is what Martha Sharp writes in her memoir. But a series of miracles can happen when many people become concerned and are willing to act at the right time. And I think this is the right time and we all need to do those many little actions and we can be heard. Tom came on, um, they were thinking about other people to read Martha's voice and so I was pretty sure I was going to be on the cutting room floor and I had no expectations and I'm driving to New York City for something else and I pull over to go to the bathroom at one of those rest stops on the sawmill and I run into Ken Burns and I'm like, Ken, am I on the cutting room floor yet? And he was like, actually, we just decided to keep you because your voice sounds okay with Ken Burns. I mean, with um, Tom Hanks. Um, and because he's so, but Ken also had a problem. I, I was too emotional. And he calls it OTT, over the top. But, um, <laughs> and um, he likes people to just read. You know, don't put any emotion in it. And I was like, but I really was crying when I was thinking about leaving my children behind. And he goes, oh. You really were crying? You weren't acting? And I said, no. He was like, okay, then we can keep it. <laughs>